Hey everyone, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com and got another mixing video for you for Mixing Month. This is called the 10 Minute Mix. Okay, and literally today I'm gonna mix this song in 10 minutes. Okay, so if you have a couple of minutes, uh, hang tight. And if uh, if you're looking for just tips, well, the, the tip is gonna come here in the first 60 seconds and then I'm actually gonna get to mixing um, for the remainder of this video. So. What is the 10 minute mix and how is it gonna help you? It's a simple exercise to get you to not overthink things, to trust your instincts, and to move faders and pan pots where your gut tells you they should go before you have a chance to second guess and screw something up. And what it does is it forces you to create that first impression mix that really is reactionary to what the tracks are giving you. And so then they, it, you're probably gonna feature the best part of the tracks because you're reacting to what your mind and your gut and your musical heart first hear. And then this isn't gonna be the final mix. This is gonna be a starting point that we're gonna use and capture and bounce down later in reference. I'll show you that in a minute. So literally I have a track here, one of my songs on the EP that I'm working on for this whole recording, songwriting, mixing month, whatever. No plugins. Uh, it's all been recorded and it's got to be mixed. Like I actually have to do this mix later this week. Um, but I'm going to start with the 10 minute mix. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to hit a timer and I'm literally going to start pulling up faders, balancing, balancing things out and seeing if I can get this song completely mixed in 10 minutes. What I want you to do is watch this. If you have a few minutes, watch this exercise. If you've never seen anyone do this before, um, because this will be eye opening to you. And then I want you to go do this as an exercise on your next mix to get you started and to get you to trust your gut okay so I need a couple of tools I've got a timer here set to 10 minutes I'm gonna lock it so that it's gonna float over my screen even when I'm back in Pro Tools um, and I'm gonna start that in a second and that's literally gonna count down for me and I'm going to uh, basically I've got a mix here with you know multiple drums kick inside kick outside top and bottom snare two tom mics uh, the fat mic, if you watch that video, I've got that it's an extra mono mic in the middle of the kit, stereo overheads, tambourine, bass guitar, one, two, three, four, five uh, electric guitars, an organ, one acoustic guitar, actually two more electric guitar parts. Um, pull those over there. And another electric guitar part with some weird harmonics. Did I say acoustic? I may have the lead vocal, a couple of doubles, a couple of harmonies, and some gang vocals. So this is a good amount of tracks. You could definitely have way more than this, but I think this is manageable. I don't know, we're looking at maybe 25 tracks, 30 tracks, something like that. And um, what I'm gonna do is just pull them all down to start and pull the master fader back up. And I'm gonna get to mixing, all right? So let's start this timer and let's see if we can just react to the tracks and get a good mix in 10 minutes. All right, here we go. Less talking, more mixing.
listen to a verse here. Let's see. harmonics There we go. Ten minutes, man. Uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. Not not bad at all. I think I got to everything and pretty much got a a rough starting level. So that is exactly what the ten minute mix is. You're kind of going from maybe most important instrument or hardest to hear. You notice that I went to the overheads and then balanced the rest of the mics to the overheads and try to get a drum sound because it's really hard for me to hear the drums when everything else is in. And then I brought in bass and layered guitars and vocals on top of that. 
and I kind of saved some of the more extraneous vocals, extraneous guitar parts for later because those really don't matter as much in terms of balance. So that's how I like to work. You could have started with the vocals. You could have started with your guitar tones, the, the song, and then your kind of personal style would have dictated that. But what did that just do? One, it got me to not overthink. I'm not grabbing any plugins. I'm not thinking about, um, you know, changing sounds as much as I'm taking song tracks that are already at a good level. I've already made sure that these aren't too hot, right? So I gain staged them so that at Unity, these tracks aren't too hot at all. You could have pulled them down with some clip gain maybe, um, or you could have put a trim plug in across the top. I recorded these tracks, so I already recorded them at a level that I felt was conservative enough and, and gave me plenty of headroom. So once that's done and you're actually ready to mix, literally you just want to start like I did and just go through the song with a timer. 10 minutes is a great exercise because it's such a narrow amount of time that you have to focus on what matters. And I'm thinking about volume and pan. And I'm thinking if this had to stay at one volume fader position the whole time or one pan position, where would it go? And I'm not limited to that. That's This isn't my final mix. But then what I would do is take this, these settings, go ahead and select everything, right? Um, start to finish and then bounce out a stereo print of this track, a wave or MP3 or whatever, and bring it into my session as a stereo track down here. Um, and it would be like my 10 minute reference or my first mix reference. And the reason this can be very helpful for you, especially if you have a, tr a song with lots of tracks, is that an hour in, two hours in, three, four hours into your mix when you're really tweaking with EQ and you're really messing with stuff, um, you lose perspective so quickly and it's hard to know if you stayed on track with your gut's reaction to the song. So I can easily then mute everything, flip over to this 10 minute mix that I haven't done, listened to for hours, um, that obviously has no plugins and it's everything is static. So it's going to be limited compared to what you're able to do. But you listen to that, and that will tell you if you're on track or not. Because then you'll go, man, that vibe felt a lot better sometimes. That 10-minute mix is sounding better than my four hours into this mix, which is depressing, one. But it's helpful, too, because then it tells you why is this 10-minute mix better? What was I getting at with that original mix? That What is it about it that I like? And it's probably a level thing. It's probably what instruments are being featured more. And your gut reaction is always the, is the right one because it's your initial response as a musician and a listener to the tracks in front of you. And that's what your eventual fan base is going to hear. They're going to open up your mix on iTunes or whatever and take a listen. For the very first time, they've never heard these tracks. They've never been able to microscope down into these tracks like you have. And so what is their initial reaction going to be? And you want to move them. So you need to think like a listener at the very beginning of the mix, right? And, and just move the faders where you want them to go to make it sound banging, make it sound balanced. Remember, mixing is all just about balance. And that's what we just did in 10 minutes. So do this exercise, save that mix, store it away somewhere as a stereo version, and reference it as you go further along the mix. It will help you sort of stay on course. That is it, a 10-minute mix. Let me know if you guys have tried this. Um, and again, I'm not the first person to do this, but when I was first introduced to this exercise years ago, it really helped me. And I want to share that here in Mixing Month so that it's something you guys can try to practice and get better at mixing and stay on task. Go do some great mixing. Got some more tips on the way for you as I'm mixing my record as well. And I can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care.